Welcome to Marrakech, the captivating Moroccan city painted in shades of red. Nestled at the foot of the Atlas Mountains, Marrakech is a city that has fascinated travelers for centuries. Known as the Red City, due to the red sandstone walls that encircle its old town, Marrakech is a stunning blend of history and culture. The city's origins date back to the mid-11th century, when it was established by the Almoravids, a Berber dynasty. Over the centuries, Marrakech has been the capital of an empire, a cultural hub, and a bustling trade center. It's a city where the past and present coexist in a harmonious blend, offering a unique and captivating experience for its visitors. As you walk through its labyrinth of narrow streets, you're met with an explosion of colors, sounds, and scents. The air is filled with the aroma of spices, the clatter of artisans at work, and the vibrant chatter of locals and tourists alike. Marrakech is a city that engages all your senses, making every moment an adventure. The city's beating heart is its Medina, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where the hustle and bustle of daily life unfolds. Here, under the sun-drenched sky, you'll find bustling markets or souks, brimming with everything from hand-woven carpets to traditional Moroccan lamps, spices and leather goods. But Marrakech is not just about the markets and the hustle. It's about the people, their traditions and their warm hospitality. It's about the stunning architecture that tells stories of a bygone era, the beautifully manicured gardens that offer an oasis of calm and the delicious cuisine that is a feast for your taste buds. Marrakech, with its vibrant colors, rich history and unique ambience, is a city that leaves an indelible mark on those who visit. It's a city that has something for everyone, from history enthusiasts and architecture lovers to foodies, shoppers and adventurers. Now let's delve into the top four places that make Marrakech the gem it is. Our first stop is the Jardin Majorelle, a tranquil paradise in the midst of the city. Nestled within the heart of Marrakech, the Jardin Majorelle is more than just a garden. It's an emblem of peace and tranquility, a vibrant work of art that stands as a testament to the passionate love for botany and art. Named after its creator, French painter Jacques Majorelle, who spent 40 painstaking years pouring his heart and soul into this enchanting space. The garden is a symbiosis of creative flair and botanical beauty. Imagine stepping into a world where the cobalt blue sky melds seamlessly with the striking blue of the garden's buildings. This brilliant shade, known as Majorelle Blue, is a signature element of the garden, and it's as mesmerizing as the azure heavens above. The buildings, painted in this captivating hue, serve as a backdrop to the lush, thriving life that inhabits the garden. As you wander through the garden, you'll feel as though you've stepped into a painting, where nature and architecture dance together in a symphony of colour. Now let's delve into the verdant heart of the garden. It's a living, breathing testament to Majorelle's devotion to botany, housing an array of exotic plants from the farthest corners of the globe. Cacti stretch towards the sun, their spiky silhouettes creating a fascinating contrast against the smooth blue walls. Bamboo clusters rustle gently in the breeze, whispering secrets of far-off lands. The air is fragrant with the scent of jasmine and orange blossoms, a sweet perfume that lingers on the warm Moroccan air. Amidst the hustle and bustle of Marrakech, this garden is a sanctuary for the senses, a place where time stands still and nature takes center stage, the Jardin Majorelle is not just a feast for the eyes, but also a sanctuary for the soul. The tranquility that pervades this place is palpable, wrapping around you like a comforting blanket. It's a stark contrast to the vibrant energy of the city that lies beyond its walls. Here the only sounds are the soft rustling of leaves, the gentle splashing of fountains, and the melodious chirping of birds. It's easy to lose yourself in the serene atmosphere, to forget about the world outside and just be present in the moment. As you explore the winding paths, sit by the tranquil pools, or simply find a quiet corner to sit and reflect, you'll feel a sense of peace and calm wash over you. But the garden is not just a place of beauty and peace, it's also a symbol of resilience and rebirth. After Majorelle's death, the garden fell into disrepair, forgotten by time and overshadowed by the city's growth. However, in 1980, fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent and his partner Pierre Berge bought and restored the garden, breathing new life into Majorelle's masterpiece. 
Today, the garden stands as a tribute to their efforts, a symbol of Marrakesh's enduring charm and the timeless allure of nature. Jardin Majorel, a serene oasis that offers a refreshing pause from the city's vibrant energy. As we leave this tranquil paradise and venture back into the heart of Marrakesh, we carry with us a piece of its serenity and beauty, a reminder of the calm that exists amidst the chaos, the peace that can be found even in the heart of a bustling city. And so our journey continues, taking us deeper into the enchanting world of Marrakesh. Next, we step into the heart of Marrakech, the Medina, a timeless marketplace humming with life. Just imagine a bustling bazaar where the past and present converge in a vibrant dance of colors, sounds and scents. This is the Medina, the beating heart of Marrakesh, a place steeped in history, yet teeming with the energy of the here and now. At the core of Marrakesh, the Medina serves as a social, cultural and commercial hub. It's a timeless marketplace that has witnessed centuries of trade, from the days of camel caravans to today's lively haggling over exquisite handicrafts. The Medina's importance resonates far beyond Marrakesh. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to the enduring legacy of Moroccan culture and commerce. Navigating the Medina is like stepping into a living, breathing labyrinth. Its winding lanes, more enticing than intimidating, beckon you to lose yourself in their charm. Every narrow alley, every hidden corner is brimming with shops and stalls that offer a dizzying array of goods. From intricate Berber rugs, glinting brass lanterns to vibrant ceramics, the Medina is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. The food stalls, oh the food stalls, they are the soul of the Medina, serving up an enticing array of Moroccan delicacies. The air is thick with the aroma of sizzling tagine, sweet pastries and freshly squeezed orange juice. Each stall is a culinary adventure where you can sample traditional dishes like couscous, pastilla and the delectable lamb tangia. And then there are the artisans. The Medina is a showcase of Moroccan craftsmanship at its finest. Skilled hands chisel intricate designs into wood, weave magic into textiles and breathe life into clay and metal. These artisans, they're not just preserving age-old traditions, they're weaving the very fabric of Moroccan culture. Now let's talk about the sensory experience. The Medina is a feast for the senses. Your eyes will be captivated by the riot of colors from the vibrant hues of spices piled high in pyramids to the rich shades of dyed leather and textiles. Your ears will be filled with the symphony of sounds from the rhythmic hammering of metal in a blacksmith's workshop to the soft murmur of haggling and laughter. Your nose will be enticed by the heady mix of aromas from the sweet scent of mint and jasmine to the smoky smell of grilled meats. And amidst all this, you'll find pockets of tranquility, hidden courtyards where you can sip mint tea, rooftop terraces that offer panoramic views of the bustling market below, and quiet corners where you can simply pause, breathe, and soak in the timeless charm of the Medina. As the sun dips below the horizon, the Medina transforms, Lanterns cast a warm golden glow, music fills the air, and the marketplace comes alive with nighttime revelers. It's a different world, equally enchanting, equally mesmerizing. The Medina, a place where every turn leads to a new discovery, truly a shopper's paradise. Now we journey into the past at the Bahia Palace, a historical masterpiece of Moroccan architecture. As we delve into the annals of history, our journey takes us to the late 19th century a time when the Grand Bahia Palace was brought to life. This magnificent edifice is a testament to the vision of Si Moussa, the Grand Vizier of the Sultan, who desired a home that reflected the essence of Islamic and Moroccan style. The palace, spread out over nearly two acres, is a marvel of architectural design. Every corner, every crevice of Bahia tells a story of a time gone by. The name Bahia itself, meaning brilliance, is a fitting descriptor for this shining gem of Moroccan heritage. As we traverse through the palace, we are greeted by the splendor of its stunning architecture. The grand courtyard, adorned with a beautiful marble fountain, exudes an aura of tranquility. The rooms, each more splendid than the last, are decorated with intricate stucco work and stunning zellige mosaics. The ceilings, a spectacle in themselves, are covered in hand-painted cedar wood. Their intricate designs a testament to the craftsmanship of the artisans of the time. The palace also boasts of a series of lush, fragrant gardens, each one more enchanting than the last. 
As you wander through these verdant spaces, you can't help but be captivated by the symphony of colours and fragrances, the rustling of leaves and the chirping of birds, a true feast for the senses. But Bahia Palace isn't just a feast for the eyes, it's a cornerstone of Moroccan culture and history. For over a century, it has stood as a symbol of the country's architectural prowess, its walls echoing the tales of the sultans and viziers who once called this place home. The palace has also played host to numerous significant events, its halls bearing witness to the ebb and flow of Morocco's political and social tides. Today, the Bahia Palace continues to be a beacon of Moroccan heritage. It serves as a reminder of the country's rich history, its intricate blend of cultures, and its architectural grandeur. Visitors from all walks of life are drawn to its beauty, eager to explore its many rooms and gardens, and to immerse themselves in its history. As you walk through the palace, you can almost hear the whispers of the past, the soft rustle of silk, the echo of laughter, and the clink of glasses. Each room, each garden, each mosaic tells a tale, weaving a rich tapestry of stories that span generations. So whether you're an architecture enthusiast, a history buff, or simply a lover of beauty, the Bahia Palace is a must visit. Its stunning architecture, intricate designs, and beautiful gardens are a testament to Marrakesh's rich history and architectural grandeur. In conclusion, the Bahia Palace is more than just a historical monument. It's a living, breathing testament to Morocco's cultural heritage, a symbol of its past, and a beacon for its future. It's a place where history and beauty intertwine, where every corner holds a story, and where every visit is a journey back in time. Bahia Palace, a testament to Marrakesh's rich history and architectural grandeur. Lastly, we visit the Kutubia Mosque, Marrakesh's landmark, and a symbol of the city's heritage. This grand structure, standing tall and proud, is not only an architectural marvel, but also a testament to the city's rich history and cultural significance. Nestled in the heart of Marrakesh, the Kutubia Mosque has been a silent witness to the city's evolution for more than eight centuries. Its construction began in the 12th century under the reign of the Almohad Caliphate, a time when Marrakesh was a vibrant hub of culture and learning. The mosque's name, Kutubia, is derived from the Arabic word Kutubiyin, which means booksellers. This name alludes to the bustling book market that once thrived around the mosque, a clear indication of the city's long-standing commitment to knowledge and education. The mosque's minaret, reaching a height of nearly 70 meters, is a marvel to behold. This towering structure, adorned with intricate carvings and patterns, is a shining example of the architectural prowess of the Almohad era. It's not just an impressive sight, but a beacon that has guided the faithful to their prayers for centuries. The Kutubia Mosque plays an integral role in Marrakesh's cultural and religious life. It's not just a place of worship, but a gathering point, a center of community and a symbol of unity. It's a place where tradition meets modernity, where the echoes of the past blend with the hum of the present. As we explore this landmark, we are not just walking through a building, but through the pages of Marrakech's history. Every stone, every carving, every archway tells a story, whispering tales of the city's glorious past, its vibrant present and its promising future. Kutubia Mosque, a beacon standing tall, symbolizing Marrakesh's enduring spirit. And there we have it, the top four must-visit places in Marrakesh. We've journeyed through the vibrant shades of the Red City, marveled at the tranquility of the serene oasis, immersed ourselves in the bustling life of the timeless marketplace, and stood in awe of the historical masterpiece. Each location, with its unique features and experiences, paints a vivid picture of Marrakesh's cultural richness. Marrakesh is not just a city, it's a melting pot of traditions, a living museum of history, and a testament to Morocco's enduring allure. It's a place where every corner tells a story, where ancient meets modern, and where tranquility coexists with vitality. So whether you're an explorer at heart, a history buff, or someone who loves to soak in the local culture, Marrakech has something for you. What do you think of these places? Which one would you love to visit? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey through Marrakech, do consider subscribing to our channel for more such adventures.